Race two in Valencia, and it's a standing start, so the rear-wheel drive cars have a huge advantage. The BMWs go to the front, and then it's the Seats, but it's the diesel engine cars that are the fastest Seats at the moment. They have to find a way past BMW, who incidentally have not won a single WTCC race this season. Coronel falling back in the clutches of Stefano Daste, another independent runner. Here we see how fast you can start with a rear-wheel drive car, while the Seats are left to fight for position fifth and higher. So we have a BMW in the lead, it's Augusto Farfus, Jörg Müller in second place, and then the Spaniard Hernandez, a home race for him, but he cannot fight off Gabriela Tarquini, the man that finished third in the first race, on his way to another podium because he takes third place away from the Spaniard. Highlight of that second race is the battle between Gabriela Tarquini and Andy Prio, the former world champion finding a way past the Seat. A slight gap there is on the inside of the corner and he puts his BMW right where it should be to overtake the Italian for third place. But it wasn't to last because Prio made a slight mistake himself and would lose the position again. Here we see Gabriele Tarquini leaving a slight gap, but three corners later, the gap left by Prio wide enough for the Seat to go through. And Gabriele Tarquini on his way to his second podium of the day. But the first victory for BMW in 2009 is for Augusto Farfus, Jörg Müller in second place, Gabriele Tarquini, the fastest Seat driver in third position. After Valencia, Seat leads the Manufacturers' Championship by a massive 16 points and Ivan Müller still leads the Drivers' Championship.